Sister Talk. Hi, this is Deetra Kelsey, host of Sister Talk TV show, and I'm standing next to Terry Williams. She's the Master of Ceremonies at the Real Sisters of the Diaspora Film Festival and Lecture Series. Tonight is the award night. Terry, how do you feel? You know, it just doesn't get any better than that to take what your life's life's journey has been and then to create a work of art that will touch people it just it was an honor and a blessing to be here to help celebrate these women and um, wouldn't have, wouldn't have wanted to be anywhere else you know celebrating the accomplishment you know you know what I admire you and what I've been trying to get you for the last summer I Jason <laughs> I swear I'm coming your, your, your book heard it here first I am coming she's coming, coming on to, 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 to the Sister Talk TV show. Sister Talk TV. I, I am coming. <laughs> Terry, you wrote the book, Black Pain. It looks, it just looks like we're not hurting. Yes. You know, I salute you for coming out to the public because I remember the Terry Williams that I thought had it all together. And I thought that, I think that was very courageous. How hard was it? Was it hard for you to write this book? Um, you know what? It was so necessary. When... I started to speak about my story in Essence Magazine and over 10,000 people wrote to me say, girl, you are walking down my street. Best friends didn't know, family members didn't know, but they told me. I knew that that's what I was called to do, to write a book that was in everyday language so that we could understand what depression and what our pain looks like, feels like, sounds like because we walk through the day with a mask on our faces. We have a mask for every different occasion, one that's smiling, that says that all is well and we're fine, but so many times we're dying on the inside. We are an imposter. We just look like we're standing there, but we're not even there. And so I knew that, you know, it's I clearly heard God's voice one day just say that you have to tell your story because mm -hmm. I wasn't trying to do that. You got to keep up the, you know, you got to keep up the image. But it's the best thing that I have ever done in my life. Wow. Just, it just, we are healing. Mm -hmm. You know, people have an understanding about things that happened to them in their childhoods that they never talked about, that they never resolved, but affect how they are today. Absolutely. And uh, when we did some public service announcements with SAMHSA and the Ad Council, uh, there were several people sharing their testimonies on video, and I showed these testimonies at a school, high-risk high school. This young man gets up very, very courageously, 15 years old, and he says that he stabbed somebody seven times, right? Very, very clear. And then what he said after that is what pierced my spirit. He said, and he wasn't even the one I was mad at. I mean, he so, was so clear, but that's so many of us. We can't get at who violated our bodies or violated our spirits, so we take it out on who's right in front of you. Do you find, you speak to thousands of people, you're traveling right now as soon as you leave this place. Do you find that we still have a hard time coming out saying that we we're do. depressed? We do. We, we see depression, uh, an expression of pain, as a character flaw, a sign of weakness. Mm -hmm. Um, when it's really a great strength to be able to say, it's like when you go to, and not enough of us go to the doctors when we should, mm -hmm. but it's a, it's a great sign of strength to acknowledge that there's pain and issues that you have not dealt with. There's not one of us on the planet who's not walking around with wounds. Mm -hmm. And so when we meet one another, it's important to, and somebody says or does something, it's the question is not what's wrong with that person, it's what happened to that person? Everyone has a journey. And brothers have it, I mean, sisters tend to talk to one another, but I think it's harder for brothers because so many of them been, have been born, bred, and raised to suck it up, to be a man, don't cry, don't show emotion. What do you do with that? And so for so many, it comes out in anger and rage. Thank you so much, Terry. Thank pleasure. you for your time. I promise to see you. Okay. okay. I, know you, I, know, I know you're busy. I'm, I'm glad you took the time out to talk to us now. Okay. I love what you're doing. Thank you so much. This is Deetra Kelsey at the Real Sisters of the Diaspora Film Festival and Lecture Series here with Terry Williams, author of Black Pain. It just looks like we're not hurting. We are both wishing you peace, love, and light. <laughs> okay. Give me a take.